In this video, we're going to look at the integration of sine squared x and the integration of cos squared x by using trig identities. So we can't integrate sine squared x or cos squared x directly. We need to change them first. And we change them using the identity of cos 2a. So cos 2a was cos squared a minus sine squared a. And we could also rewrite that using cos squared a plus sine squared a equals 1 as 2 cos squared a minus 1 or as 1 minus 2 sine squared a. And these are the identities that we use to integrate sine squared x and cos squared x. So if I wanted to integrate sine squared x, I will use the identity with sine in it. So in this case, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be eliminating, getting rid of the sine squared x using this identity. So firstly, I'll change them to x's. So we've got cos 2x equals 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And then I need to make it equal to sine squared x, make sine squared x the subject of the formula. So I'm going to plus 2 sine squared x to both sides. So cos 2x plus 2 sine squared x equals 1. Subtract cos 2x from both sides. So 2 sine squared x is 1 minus cos squared x. And then divide each term by 2. So sine squared x is now by itself. And it's equal to half minus half cos 2x. So I can substitute in. So I can get rid of sine squared x and change it to half minus half cos 2x. So I'm going to change the question to half minus half cos 2x with respect to x. And now I've got something I can integrate. So I'm going to integrate this. And so integration of half, add 1 to the power, half x divided by the new power stays as half x. The integration of cos 2x, so... I'll make a little note, sine x and cos x. If you differentiate, go around clockwise. If you integrate, anti-clockwise. So we're integrating, cos x goes to sine x. So cos 2x will go to sine 2x. And I'm going to divide by the bracket differentiated, which is 2. So half divided by 2 is a quarter. And plus c. So there is my answer. Okay, so now we're going to look at cos squared x. So it's the same kind of thing. We just eliminate cos squared x instead of sine squared x. So we'll start with the identity of cos 2a. And the one with cos in it is 2 cos squared a minus 1. I'll change them to x's. So we've got cos 2x is 2 cos squared x minus 1 and now I'm going to make cos squared x the subject so plus 1 to both sides cos 2x plus 1 equals 2 cos squared x and divide each term by 2 so that's half cos 2x plus a half equals cos squared x so now I can substitute that in so for cos squared x I can put in half cos 2x plus a half. So half cos 2x plus a half with respect to x. And now I'm just going to integrate that. So cos 2x goes to sine 2x. And I divide by the bracket differentiated, which is 2. So half divided by 2 is a quarter. And I've got half integrated, which is half x, and plus c. So there's my answer.